343 and IGN just revealed a new map for Halo Infinite, that map called Streets. And we're gonna go over what this map is all about, what to expect from it. We also got a corresponding blog with it that actually talks about more maps for BTB and the philosophy and probably the lack of ability of seeing remakes coming to Halo Infinite. You wanna know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Everybody, welcome to the channel. The channel keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo. And as soon as I finished up my last week in Halo video, got it all uploaded for you guys. Another bombshell of news, the reveal of the map Streets for Halo Infinite, as well as some extra content. November is looking to be an absolutely huge month with more multiplayer reveals, some battle pass reveals as well for season one and possibly some campaign stuff. But before we get into all that, if you guys like these kind of news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. It really helps out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, Make sure to tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So like I said at the top of this video guys, IGN revealed the new map Streets multiplayer map for Halo Infinite. This is a 4v4 asymmetrical map. They specifically mentioned this map being more tuned to like Strongholds and Oddball. They'll probably see it for Slayer as well, but maybe not so much CTF. IGN's Ryan McCaffrey had lead multiplayer level designer Kale George to talk about Streets, which like I said is a smaller map that's set in New Mombasa at night. Very ODST like. They expect this one to play very fast with short lines of sight. This is a very close course focus map so this might be one of those maps where you might see the assault rifle maybe taking power over every other weapon uh, at launches. As we did say that the assault rifle was a bit OP when it came to the original release or the test flights that we had for Halo Infinite. Though there are some specific long lines of sight for the shock rifle that's going to be on there which is going to act kind of like a sniper rifle but just in a little different way. The main power weapon being the rocket launchers that spawn in the middle of the map. Though with how small this map is and how precise you have to be with the shock rifle that I don't really find this gonna be very effective because you're gonna need very quick snappy kills, especially with more long range weapons like the sniper rifle or the shock rifle as well. I could possibly see this shock rifle get replaced with a sniper rifle though. We just kinda have to wait and see when that happens. Obviously this is something that can be easily changed once Halo Infinite actually releases and we get a chance to actually play this map. But this looks very close quarters and it makes me wonder like maybe with all the ricochet walls that we could see the heat wave be a little bit more effective than we saw previously because the heat wave was kind of underwhelming for the most part when it came to the gameplay but I think with all these ricochetable walls that we have how close quarters everything is that like the shotgun the heat wave and also various other weapons that might have undershined within Halo Infinite's flight could do a lot better on this map. When watching this it gave me a strong vibe of Cyberside which is a doubles map that was available for Halo 5 and I think they kind of brought this over a little bit maybe obviously scaled it out a little bit more for 4v4. As you can kind of see this little comparison I put together on Twitter but actually a fun thing is community member Ascend Hyperion and also former Forger that worked at Halo 5 now part of Splitgate team Blaze Lightcap actually worked on this map for the Cyberside version of this map and guys like it's pretty cool to see like this kind of like influence from Halo 5 come over to Halo Infinite interesting little bit here if you look in the bottom when he picks up these spike grenades you see the caption underneath saying Master Chief spike grenades acquired which to me makes you think that Master Chief could possibly be an AI you can select for your Spartan which I mean come on if you have Master Chief whispering in your ear saying spike grenades acquired I mean, who wouldn't want that? And the corresponding blog that came from IGN, some really insightful stuff that's coming in the future as well. And they mentioned here specifically about remakes for Halo Infinite saying, we asked about whether or not we should expect any remakes of classic maps as has become Halo tradition. 343 cited back saying that question is something we actively talk quite a bit. I think what we've done with Big Team Battle fragmentation is something we want things to feel new, but we want things to be a bit reminiscent without giving you the exact layout or same layout with significant differences because we're a different game with different needs. Talking specifically about like Valhalla and Ragnarok have influences within fragmentation, which you can definitely see that. Continuing 
continuing on saying there are some maps that have been coming out in almost every single iteration of Halo. So I wouldn't say we would never do a remake, but again, we're doing a spiritual reboot. So we look at how we kind of put our twist on it, but still make it feel like a bit of a nostalgic trip when you kind of run through them. And this is key right here. We've tried the one-to-one -one ports. They don't work well. So when I hear that, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, it doesn't look like we will be getting any form of a remake anytime soon within Halo Infinite. Honestly, I'm okay with that because, because Halo Infinite is a very different game mechanically to any other previous Halo game. As it does have some of those advanced move movements like sliding, clambering, and things like that, along with, along with the whole equipment set that we have with it that's unique to Halo Infinite, that bringing over some of these classic maps would probably the, be broken with the new game mechanics that we currently have within Halo Infinite. So my hopes of a Blood Gulch remake, I think might be kind of out of the question. Though, for example, take Blood Gulch, like I've said earlier, that like it wouldn't really work with Halo Infinite's mechanics as Halo Infinite's precision weapons are hit scan, meaning you do not need to lead your shots, which makes it very difficult to walk around in wide open spaces, much like Blood Gulch. Blood Gulch and Valhalla as well rely on you having to lead your shots and that kind of user error to give people the ability to move around the map freely without having to feel like you're getting sniped across by people using battle rifles like we had with the Bloodline remake in Halo 2 Anniversary. The gameplay just doesn't really work out that well. So it does sad to me that it sounds like at the launch we will not have any remakes, but like they say, never say never, or they could possibly bring in an old map and then just kind of mix it up a little bit to have it fit better within Halo Infinite Sandbox, which I'm all for that. And to continue on within this blog update, talking about Deadlock and High Power as multiplayer maps within BTB as well. And they give us a little bit of insight what they're going to play like. Saying that Deadlock is going to be a very dynamic, saying that Dreadlock is a very dramatic Dramatic map while also feeling very classic Halo. Also saying that it's a very different mood to the rest of the maps within the list as well, which is great because that's some, one thing I think we kind of came across with Halo Infinite's least flight was that they kind of all didn't really have that much variation, but streets looks to add into that. Hopefully Dre Deadlock does the same. And we're also going to talk about high power, which is kind of interesting now. They mentioned high power originally was a bit of a test gym for BTB, which is kind of more just like a fun place to kind of test things out. They never really ship these kind of type of maps, but apparently they just had so so much fun playing on high power that they're going to be adding it into the game as well. And to finish out this blog post, they do talk about the preview into Season 1's Battle Pass, which will have 100 tiers in a podcast discussion with Joseph Staten. Now, obviously, you can just go to their website and check out all the information as soon as it drops, but you definitely want to come over to here because we're going to do some deeper analysis on some of these things because especially with the map streets, they definitely missed out a lot of interesting details and jumps and things like that that we can talk about. Obviously, we're trying to Halo channel guys we would definitely would go more into what is more important to the halo side of things than like ign ever could and it looks like later this month we're going to get some more campaign gameplay through ign as well which guys november is going to be huge it's it's happening like november is going to go insane for us guys this is crazy so if you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently check out this place we're here for all my halo infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out